Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and today I wanted to do just a small watercolour landscape painting. I haven't done a landscape in a little while and I felt like doing it so I did. Um, and this piece is actually a reference from a photograph that I took, I don't know how long ago now, maybe like a year or two ago. It's on my Instagram. Um, and I like the photo so I thought I would kind of use that as a reference and I didn't try and make it like super exactly like the photo I was just using it roughly um, and here I am painting this on Canson illustration paper um, I've cut it to size I've got a4 sheets but this is like I think this is a quarter of one of the sheets and I'm using my peerless watercolors to paint it and I did like a rough little sketch at the beginning which you would have seen just to kind of map out where everything was um, and then I started painting so the thing about landscapes that I like is that if they're not like super detailed I find them a bit more kind of freeing to paint in a way um, I feel like I've got less restrictions um, and they're just fun to paint sometimes, so yeah. And I feel like with the um, foreground of this piece, the rocks, I was having a lot of trouble um, kind of getting the colours that I needed to. The browns were quite diluted, even though I was like um, rubbing the brush quite firmly on the um, watercolour sheets. Um, but then you'll see soon, I actually end up going over the foreground quite darkly um, that's because I went ahead with a really really dark blue so it's not black um, and it's not brown just because there's a lot of brown in the front there and I wanted to cool it down um, more so like the picture and that area is like almost black in the photo um, but I didn't want to be black, I want it to be just really dark and I feel like this kind of really makes the image come together adds a lot more depth, more shadow um, and yeah, and I know the tree is looking pretty ugly at this point um, I could kind of get some detail near the edges there but that middle bit is kind of just like faded brown and does not look very good um, but obviously here I do fix it up and using that really dark blue, it's kind of like a really dark navy blue, um, it makes it all look better. Um, and sorry if you can hear that sound in the background, I think it's our neighbours running a tap. But I don't know if you can hear it through this microphone, hopefully not. Um, uh, the perks of living in a townhouse. Um, anyway, and yeah, I went back over the blue water, just kind of brighten the blue and also the background and then it's pretty much done. I was going to go with coloured pencils but I thought this was good enough so yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. We've got a self-portrait. Now I remember being quite proud of this drawing when I did it but looking at it now it's really not that good. Um, I was using that as a reference. Uh, that was back when I had black hair.